Do you remember those motorcycle arcade machines? The ones that you'd sit on the bike and actually had to twist the throttle to accelerate and then like lean the entire bike over to turn? Man, those were so cool. But aside from spending thousands of dollars on bikes and gear, that was the closest thing you could get to experiencing what it was like to ride a motorcycle. At least, until now. Virtual reality motorcycles are pretty freaking cool, dude. You're telling me I can use my actual hands to turn the handlebars, twist the throttle, hang off the side of the bike while swinging a laser sword? VR is the perfect way to experience what it's like to ride a motorcycle without all the costs and dangers of actually doing so. So you might think that there must be tons of awesome VR motorcycle games available for all VR headsets. Well, no, not really. But that's where I come in. Hi, I'm Virtual Bro, and I'm always looking for the best VR games that are actually worth your time. In this video, I'm going to showcase three different virtual reality games that let you ride motorcycles, each to a varying degree of realism, but I'll be pointing out what each game does well and what they can improve on. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This first game you might have heard of if you've been on the VR side of TikTok lately, shameless plug, go follow me there, but it's called Project Third Eye. It's an indie developed physics sandbox game, basically like a Walmart brand bone lab, but it has a ton of really unique items that I almost never see implemented well in VR. The only one I'm interested in for now though is the motorcycle. Luckily I can spawn one wherever I want, but my favorite place to ride is this endless cliffside road, which is strangely named the racetrack, even though it's not really a track, and the skate park is pretty fun to jump around as well. But once the novelty wears off, you'll realize that there's a lot missing from this virtual motorcycle. For one, the throttle control is just a button press, although to be fair, because of how janky the physics can be in games like these, I might actually prefer that in this case. But what's really missing is precise steering and leaning. The controls work well enough for cruising along mostly straight road, but once you actually try maneuvering this bike through tighter corners, it feels like a brick with wheels. What's missing is manual weight distribution too. Every good motocross game I've played has had a way for the player to affect the rider's center of gravity. From leaning forward when cornering to leaning back over whoops, shifting your weight is an essential part of controlling a motorcycle, so modern flat screen games usually have a dedicated button or joystick for this exact input. So my first recommendation would be to copy what MX vs ATV games do, which is use the right thumbstick to control the direction your rider leans. Strangely, that almost seems like it was implemented here, because when I use the right thumbstick on this bike, my character kind of shifts around it, but it doesn't seem to actually affect the bike's handling in any way, so it could just be there for comfort adjustment. Also, I have to say that I bought this game almost entirely because he showed off a working dirt bike, but apparently it doesn't work. When you try steering, it turns the bike, but not your character, so this happens, and... Yeah, it, it, it's not fun. Hopefully this gets fixed soon though, this dude is updating his game with new stuff like every week, it's kinda crazy. So while I don't love how motorcycles work in Project Third Eye, it's a decent foundation that I believe will only get better as the game continues to get updated. Don't worry, the games are only gonna get better from here. Of course I'm saving the best for last. The next game I want to show you, you may have seen in some of my YouTube shorts already, but I have so much more to say. This is Moto X, and unlike Project Third Eye, it's not quite a sandbox. Honestly, it's not much of anything. It's an early access game with only two different tracks, no multiplayer and no NPCs to race against. You can do a time trial mode on this track, you can free run around this map, and that's about it. Now. I know that sounds bad, but this is probably the most immersive virtual reality vehicle that I have ever controlled. This game is aiming to bring the full experience of dirt biking into VR, and I can tell that even in this early state, this could be something amazing. I cannot express to you how awesome it would be to free ride alongside your friends or to race neck and neck with them in the most immersive way possible, but given the lack of content, the developers must be looking to refine their controls as much as possible before adding all of the extra tracks, bikes, cosmetics, and multiplayer. I think this will really pay off in the end because a solid foundation for gameplay will keep players coming back. But to help them in refining these controls, here are some things that I would suggest. Number one, add a clutch function that lets you power out of corners and steep hills. Number two, allow the player to manually shift their weight forward by pulling the handlebars closer to the chest, and then the player can lean back by pushing the bars away from them, just like you would when actually riding a dirt bike. Number three, while you can lean the bike manually in this game, it doesn't actually seem to affect the steering. At least, not how it should. I should be able to snake back and forth like this, 
but the lean doesn't seem to initiate a change in velocity. Lastly, increase the gravity, add proper suspension, and just make the bike way faster. Even with all that being said, this is still the closest thing you can get to riding a real dirt bike without actually having access to one in real life. It seriously feels so cool to rev your throttle and pop a wheelie or throw a sick whip over the biggest jump you can, so if all you want to do is ride a dirt bike in VR, I definitely recommend Moto X. But if you're looking for a real game, you know, one with content and levels and- Alright, let's talk about Runner. What this game lacks in realism, it clearly makes up for in style, 10 times over. This game is basically Akira in VR, or Akira. Akira? Akira? Now, I just love the cyberpunk aesthetic, regardless of the medium, but you throw in motorcycles, guns, and laser swords, and I can't hear you over the sound of how awesome this game is! If any of the words I just said are something you're a fan of, give this game a try. But our main focus here is the bike itself. It handles very differently from the other two games on this list, and it's kind of clear why. This is a high action game that has you dodging and weaving through lanes of traffic while simultaneously shooting and slashing away at enemies. It can get very hectic and intense, but that's really the appeal here. The controls seem super complicated at first, but after getting used to them I felt so cool, effortlessly alternating between firing and steering with both hands. You also have cool extra weapons like grenades, missiles, this cannon in front of your bike, and my personal favorite, the swords. This game forces you to become ambidex- ambidex- ambid ambidextrous, as enemies will overwhelm you on both sides if you're not constantly switching between your weapons and targets. You see, your primary guns also double as your handlebars, so whenever one of your guns is holstered in the bike, that controller's thumbstick will control your speed and direction. Aside from the gameplay, the graphics are amazing for standalone VR, helped mostly by this incredible art style, and there's a real sense of both speed and scale as you zoom through the neon skyscrapers of this futuristic city. There's even a fully voice acted story to give you some much appreciated context for your gameplay. Attention! You have been identified as a potential the story really kept me motivated to keep playing, and it's something I wish a lot more VR games could manage to do. Although, I guess the option to skip all the story cutscenes could be nice for someone who doesn't want to video chat with Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Crystal Coast. This is a place where the higher level executives get their kicks, while everyone else goes after the scraps. However, this game would greatly benefit from a full body character, and more motion control inputs. I feel like this game overly relies on buttons, for example my hands are already motion tracked, so just let me use them to steer. Also why do I need to press a button to pick up a grenade that is right there in front of me? That's like the cardinal sin for VR games, if I see something I should be able to grab it. Anyways I also wish that the swords and guns were different weapons stored in different places on the bike, because it would be cooler to have to like reach over your back or down by your leg for your sword, rather than just pressing a button to spawn it in the place of your gun. But even with its flaws, Runner is a super underappreciated game, and I hope to see more like it. So where does that leave us? Well, if you're looking for the most authentic dirt biking experience on standalone VR, definitely go with Moto X. But if you don't want to feel like you're just playing a tech demo and you still need your VR motorcycle fix, I definitely recommend Runner. And if you're looking for something in the middle, perhaps an open sandbox where you can make your own fun, with or without a bike, then Project Third Eye might be what you're looking for. Some honorable mentions that I wasn't able to play for myself for this video are Bone Lab mods that add dirt bikes to the game. I don't really know how those are, but I've heard they're pretty cool, as well as the PC-only game MX Bikes, which apparently has a VR mode, but again, I don't have a PC, hopefully someday. But hopefully now you can see that virtual reality motorcycles have so much potential, but clearly the more precise mechanics still need to be refined before we see more games including them. To be honest, most VR vehicles don't handle very well, but that's why I love to support these smaller developers who are trying new and innovative things in the VR space. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, these games, or what I should play next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps my small channel to keep growing. Thank you so much for watching, Virtual Bro out. I didn't like that after. <laughs>